Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bonnie here, and as promised, these are my macros for my Shadow Priest in Legion. Now, I don't use a lot of macros, but I will show you everything I do use, and also I will have a link down in the description below to a paste bin, so you can just go in the paste bin, click the link, and you'll have all of the macros I talk about in this video, actually in the same order, so you can just copy paste them and steal them from me, easy, no problem. Uh, so let's get started. First of all, I have a couple of abilities like Mind Bomb, Silence, uh, Mind Control, and Dispel Magic. I think that's all of them that have, like, they're the same macro pretty much, but it's just like the different spell name. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Let's take Silence for example, okay? And now for Silence, I also have Stop Casting here because sometimes I want to interrupt something, um, like, I don't know, Polymorph or something like that, but I'm casting myself, so if I, if I have this macro, I'll just stop casting the whatever it is in Silence instead. But usually, like, the, the, the base part is, I have I have it, so for instance, silence is on X, okay? So if I press X, I'm gonna silence this parrot. Feels bad, man. But if I have this guy on focus, and I press Alt X, then it's gonna silence this guy instead. And it's the same with Mind Bomb, okay? So if I Mind Bomb, like, let's put that guy on focus so it's, it's more obvious, okay? If I uh, Mind Bomb now, it's gonna Mind Bomb this guy. But if I press Alt and Mind Bomb, which is one for me, so Alt 1, it's gonna Mind Bomb this guy instead. So that's pretty good, because you can have like a healer here, and then you like Mind Bomb him, and then you do DPS on the main target, you know, you DPS him, do your thing, and then you silence the healer as well, and then you do more damage, you go into Void form, you do your AoE, you Shadow of Death, and boom, they're all dead, and you win the game. Alright, next up we've got my uh, Void Eruption. Let's, let's talk about that one. Okay, so Void Eruption, as you guys know, when you cast Void Eruption, it does refresh the dots on the target. Um, correction, when you cast Void Eruption, you go into Void Form, and then Void Eruption turns into Void Bolt, and Void Bolt is the one that actually refreshes dots on the target. But the way the game works is you actually have to have Void Eruption in the macro, and then even though it says Void Eruption, the macro will still cast Void Bolt. So just take it as it is, okay? So I have a macro that does mouse over void eruption because I think that's pretty useful in arena and maybe even more useful in, in PvE but in arena as well, that's really good. So let's dot this guy and look, if I if I go, I'll go into void form first. I'll show you the macro as well. Okay, so now if I cast uh, just normal, actually he's just dead. Okay, if I target this guy and cast void bolt, it's gonna void bolt him, okay? I'll disperse until I have my cooldown back. But if I mouse over the other guy, even though I have this guy targeted, it's gonna void bolt him instead, okay? So that way I can keep my dots up on people a lot easier. And this is the macro, by the way. It's right here. Boom. I'm gonna have everything in the in the link, as I said, so you don't have to like pause the video. But if you want to pause the video, go for it. All right. Next up is my my big my big macro. Okay, my big daddy macro. This is the the thing I've been using since forever, and it's so useful to me that I, I don't know I couldn't play without it. And I have this on a bunch of classes, uh, but obviously like different names, not Mind Blast and Shadow Mend. Uh, but what it does is I have number two here on my on my spell on my keybind. Number number two is mind blast and also shadow mend, and it and it matters what 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 I'm, what I'm targeting. Okay, so if I target a friendly guy like myself, uh, and if I press two, it's gonna shadow mend. Okay, if I target an enemy and I press two, it's gonna do mind blast. And if I do it with alt, so if I press alt and click or press or whatever two, it's gonna shadow mend myself no matter what I target. So it, it just makes it a lot easier. I have this on my on my Druid as well. On my Druid I have Wrath here and also Regrowth, I think. So if I, if I have an enemy, I'm gonna do Wrath. If I have a friendly, I'm gonna Regrowth. And with Alt, I'm gonna do it on myself. Same on my Shaman. I feel like it's, it, it's really useful. Like it, it, it makes, basically it's like three buttons into one. And it's not clunky at all. Like some, I, don't, I know someone who said it's uh, it's a clunky mechanic? Like, why would you do that? It's I don't think it's clunky absolutely at all. I, I can I can do whatever I want with it. Uh, I feel like it's really good. All right, next up we've got that's actually that's the bulk of it. I have a few more. Oh yeah, this one, the mind blast one, also cancels my dispersion. So if I am uh, if I, I don't have dispersion yet, so cool down feels bad, man. But yeah, if I have dispersion and I want to like go out of dispersion to like say fear someone or. Silence someone, I just press two and it pops me out of this version. Boom, just like that. And it's the same with the, it's the same with uh, levitate for uh, which one is mind flay, right? So if I levitate, I press mind flay and it just cancels or levitate. This one here. All right, next up, 
Next up we've got Dispel, yeah, as I said, like, uh, Mind Bomb, Silence, Dispel, and Mind Control, I have them like this, so it's... If I press the button normally, then it does it on my main target, if I press it with Alt, then it does it on my focus target, so that's pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, next up we've got, wait, I have one more that I want to talk oh yeah, the mount one. Not the mount, but uh, the, the pet one. So this is pretty much a targeting pet macro for Arena. Uh, usually you have, you're fighting against just one class with a pet, so this one, this macro will just target the pet. But if you're fighting against two targets with pets, let's say you're fighting uh, an Unholy DK and the Mage, then it's just gonna target the, the first pet in the list. But, I mean, you can click the other pet, there's no other way around it if you really want to target the pet. So yeah, that's it. If you really want to be tryhard, I think you can make a different macro that goes like on in the other order, you know? It goes from 5, 4, 3... No, it's gonna... Yeah, yeah, it works. It goes from 5, 2, 3, 2, 1. You know? And actually it's reversed. This one is gonna target the last pet, and then the other one would target the first pet. But that's that's too much, okay? Usually there's just one pet, and I use this. I, I, I push this, it's on Shift-V. I press Shift-V, I target the pet, I dot him up, and I target other things. And speaking of targeting, this is a really good macro, and it's a great quality of life if you guys can get used to it. And it's my targeting macro for Arena. So I have a Razor Naga, okay? And I have the extra buttons on the side. So 1, 2, and 3 are my targeting macros for Arena 1, 2, and 3. And if I press, let's say for Arena 1, I have on, I have it on 1, alright? Actually, I have it on 3 because they're upside down, but doesn't matter. Let's say 1 for Arena 1, okay? If I press 1, it's gonna target Arena 1. If I press Alt and 1, it's gonna focus Arena 1. And if I press Control and 1, it's gonna, since I'm on my Shadow Priest, it's gonna silence them. Now, I don't really use this silence here. I, I almost never silence people like this. Although maybe I should, uh, but I do use this a lot on my uh, Warlock and my Mage with Polymorphs and Fear. And also I have a mod with Shift, so if I press Shift and 1, I'm gonna counterspell the, like the enemy, Arena 1, god damn it, Arena target, god damn it, <laughs> Arena 1, okay, the, the first enemy. Um, but yeah, it's up to you if you want to use these. I feel like at least the targeting and the focus, the putting people on focus with the keybind is very, very useful. And it does, like, it increases your, even awareness and everything. It's really good. It's really good. Especially now with, since we're multi-dotting and everything. And that's pretty much it, actually, for my, for my macros. I have one more, actually. The last one. The final one is uh, target gargoyle, shackle undead, and then target last target. What this does is I don't have to target the gargoyle to shackle it for a DK. I just press this button and I don't have to change my, my target, okay? So I just press this and it starts shackling and I can keep targeting whoever I'm targeting. That's pretty good. That's really all I have. I think I had a focus net. What was that? Ooh, okay. What's going on here? PvE action, boys! Yeah, that's really it for the macros. Now let's get into some PvE action. Yeah! Let's do this. We're killing the big guy? Let's do this, let's do this. Oh, wait. Okay, okay, okay. We're doing this, we're doing this. Wait, I have... Damn it, I have some PvE gear. I should have put it on. Are we gonna die? Okay, what's going on? Oh, feels good, man. We're, we're wrecking this guy. Alright, let's go into void form. The big D is coming! The big D! Oh, void Bolt refresh my... No, it's not gonna refresh it, so I have to cast it by hand. Feels bad. Void Bolt. Always Void Bolt on cooldown. It's like the most important thing. And then let's do Shadow Word Void as well. One of these. One of those. Shadow Word Death. And can we stay in void form even longer? That'll be cool. I'm gonna silence him because silence gives us insanity now. I'm Whoa, this mage is killing everything. This mage is a beast. Let's see what we got, boys. Do we get the cool mount? Ooh, what's this? Okay, upgrade an item. Oh, okay. Okay, garrison resources. I'm maxed out. Feels bad, man. Okay. Well, I guess I'm the boss now. This would have been a much better place to record a video, don't you think? Look at it. Oh, yeah. This is a cool place to duel. Who wants to duel me here? Bring it! We have to kill the boss first, though. Yeah, well, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed this. I told you I'm not using too many macros. Let me just check one more time if I if I skipped anything. 
But I don't think I did. Wait, not here. Uh, okay, so Mind Boom, I told you about the focus, everything. This is the, the bread and butter. Okay, Mind Blast and Shadow Mend. Mind Slay and that thing. Uh, that's, that's the Mind Control one. And then all the ones that had to be pruned, like Prayer of Mending like leap of faith and everything like i was i was leap of faithing my healer or shadow word uh, not shadow word but fear wording my healer man got pruned look at all all of these question marks everything got pruned here feels bad man that's that's it Th those are all my macros so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll catch you in the next one see ya